Hey fam, so I am ready for my first fashion week show. I am heading to the Adore Me fashion show. This is the lingerie brand. And I'm just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. All right, I think this might be the only fashion show I'm going to. I may have something to do tomorrow, but I'm not quite sure yet. But I didn't make any huge plans for this. This, um, this particular fashion week because I've been so busy plus I was in Barbados so I really didn't have a lot of time to really plan for it so I may be only doing tonight and tomorrow mostly meetups and taking some photos hey fam we are heading to the Adore Me fashion show it's near our fashion week guys um, all I know is that I feel so unprepared for New York fashion week this time because I have so many different things going on just coming back from Barbados and really not being here like to plan for it and this is the one show that I know for certain that I, I was going to but um, I have other plans for tomorrow maybe a show or two but definitely gonna meet up with some friends um, some other influencers content creators and I'll take you guys along. I'm here watching the streets because we are trying to get to Spring Studios to meet Ade and then head over to Gotham Hall where the Adormi show is being held at. It is now after 6 and the show starts at 8. Just after 6 so um, hopefully we get there on time. There's New York City traffic y'all. That's all I can say. <laughs> Life. All right. See you guys in a bit. Thank you. Yeah. So the show is done and all I got was this um, lollipop here but I'm hungry so it'll suffice Jay how'd you like the show G got me here starving yeah we passed so many I asked you how you so like the show so many allies me hungry it's all he thinks about is food the show was good uh, I'm glad he got to see a lot know. of body a lot of body a lot of booty a lot of boobs <laughs> What's not the light, right, Addy? 
Mm -hmm. Ade's back here. She's about to breathe now, finally. Yeah. Ade, Ade was cinched in really tight. Daisy. I took, I took her one of it. Daisy, <laughs> Daisy cinched her in with that corset. Daisy literally constricted my organs. And she said, guys, I can't breathe. <laughs> when we picked her up, Ade said, was like, guys, I can't breathe. Let me, let me make it tight. I'm not going to eat until I take <laughs> this off. You see all those English? She was like, she was like, <laughs> And they said, let me, I'm like, no, 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 don't tie it no more. Leave it alone. Fashion. That's what we do for the fashion, baby. I'm telling you, I'm mm -hmm. glad I'm a man. Mm -hmm. Glad. But you know, um, fam, what I really, what I'm actually glad about that is they did the fashion in reality mm -hmm. because a lot of people don't do that, mm -hmm. right? You got women that are thick, they curvy, you mm -hmm. know, skinny. woman that are skinny, skinny, woman, nobody. That, you know, <laughs> all of that. They they got they got meat. Small booty women. Okay. Big booty women. Yeah, I got a small boobs, big boobs. My my words. Everyone. I don't want nobody. You know, I talking. Know, right. You know, mm. yeah, what so, we're saying yeah. is there are all types of shapes and forms. Right. And colors and, and sizes. I like that how they did the show. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. You know, because they cater to everybody. Mm -hmm. Well done, which Adore. needs inclusive. which needs to which needs to happen. Yeah. So that's very good. Very I love good the designer. Right He's pretty chill. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next time, I'm gonna model for their show. Me too. Right, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. He didn't say nothing. <laughs> I'm looking for food. <laughs> Can you make it extra spicy, all three of them? Okay. Spicy, spicy. You got white sauce? You got white sauce? Huh? Eating pepperoni and everything. Yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. Give us the, the works, the works. Yeah, we hungry, man. You got you got white sauce? Barbecue sauce? Yes, when is it ready? I call you. You're going to come. We can see. All right, yes. no problem. All right. Right here, right here. Y'all didn't know that halal did drive through, huh? Y'all stupid. <laughs> Oh, you're stupid, but I won't. She's a drive-thru. No, but he said it was like when it's done, I'll let you guys know. Yeah. Pull up to the window, guys. Hey, listen, only in New York. I'm telling you. Only in New York. I love this city for that. I totally love, love New York. New York City, boy. No way else like it for real. I, I love it and I hate it at the same time. So. I'm telling you. It's, it's good though. I'm gonna say the things that I hate mm -hmm. about New York. We're, we're talking about New York and what we hate and what we love about New York. Well, we're talking about the hate first. So I just said she hates the rodents, the rodents and traffic. The, no, 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 not just that. I hate the fact that New York has taken half of I mean, my entire money from like tickets and oh they my found god, my car. they found your car. Yeah, there was one time. Oh my it was, god, uh, sis. It was February 14, 2000, and I don't remember. Oh my god, that's 2000, and I don't remember. Seven hundred dollars to the city. Wow. No, but I had no boyfriend, I had no man, nobody. Nobody, nobody gave help. me no gift, but I gave the city seven hundred dollars that day. Like, Probably listen, you. I Probably would never you. forget that. Because that, that, you needed your car. Because huh? you thing. needed your car. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, a lot of meat in there. Right? Shit. Yeah, man. Nice. Yeah, man. That's, that's white sauce. Yep. Mm. You have white sauce. And then you hit that with a barbecue as well. And some hot sauce as well too. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yo, yeah, we about to have a serious diarrhea problem tonight. Just finished my workout. Gotta clean and tidy up this living room. And then I think I'm gonna take my braids out really, really quickly. Wash my hair and put it up in a high bun for today. I am heading to the city again. Don't know if I'm gonna do any shows today, but I'm definitely gonna meet up with some friends. I don't know if I'm gonna be attending any shows, but. We are heading to the city. We're hoping to see Alice and Olivia show. But this is not ours repeat, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But my intention today is to head to the city, take some looks, and meet with some other influencer, blogger, content creator friends, basically.
Hey fam, so we are heading to finally see Alice and Olivia's um, showroom or presentation. Hopefully we get to actually see it. So mm. after that, head into Spring Studios, hopefully, and take a few photos and then go home. Yolanda, it's a blue for me, baby. Look at that. Miss hey, Sparkle over here. No, you haven't understand this cafe yet. Let me take this off. Oh. Yes, please. Take it off, honey. You were baby. Excuse me. My sis over here. One and only yeah. TT. Yeah. Yes. Listen, I'm gonna get back into Gloria's workout. So. <laughs> you, you are doing just fine. But the way these cocktails are set up, <laughs> why, do they have to, why do they have to taste so good? New York Fashion Week has been good to me so far and I didn't plan a damn thing. <laughs> like literally everything was kind of last minute for me and it just has worked out so far. I'm about to put on some makeup. I wanted to show you my new makeup process. So I apply my moisturizer, my sunscreen and everything. Then I use a, a setting spray of my choice. Right now I'm using the Max Fixing Prime. It's one of my favorites. Now this one has like a little bit of sparkle in it so it tends to give you like a glowy effect. And then I'm using a blending sponge. I use a little palette. I'm using MAC Studio Radiance. This one can use on your body as well. It's a face and body radiant sheer foundation i don't like a heavy foundation because my skin doesn't need that much foundation i want to see my skin shine through when i apply my foundation it gives this really dewy glowy effect i think i saw this hat either on tiktok or instagram and i love it I also have these pearlescent drops. I think the brand is Versed. Honestly, I've had this so long that even the name is coming off. <laughs> but I don't use it enough. So I'm, it's almost in the same texture as the foundation that I'm applying. So I go in with this and I add it to give me even more of a glowy, dewy effect. All right, next, all I'm going to do is apply my primer. This is the color correcting primer by MAC as well. I've been using a lot of MAC products because I realized that they really work for me. 
I've used a ton of different um, face products from different brands, but I've returned to MAC because I realized that the colors that they have match my complexion so much better. I don't have to even mix, mix my foundation. They just work. Oftentimes I have to blend my foundations together a lighter with a darker to get the color that matches my skin tone. I start with my darker concealer. This is where I still have a little bit of darkness. And then I put it around my laugh lines. Those are the areas that I cover. Then I go in with my lighter concealer to highlight and brighten the higher parts of my face. I reverse contour because I already have nice snatched cheeks. So this is a reverse contour. It lightens up that area and makes it more full, which is the effect that I'm looking for. Then I take my primer again. Spray all over my face. Now this is a good time that if I had like a red lip. Hmm. Guys, I've never tried this before. I'm going to do it today. A red or pinkish color. I'm going to go with this one. I should have put it on before, but that's okay. Put it on my cheeks. I see the, uh, the girls who do makeup. They do that a lot. It's going to be my first time trying it out. I'm going to start with the lighter areas first. Blend those out. So you'll notice that sometimes the colors will transfer into each other. So this is why I started with the lighter colors first. And then I'm going to go for the darker. Cheeks. I don't know if I put too much. Now this is a matte um, lip gloss, lip stain, I guess <laughs> I should call it. The blending sponge is completely red, so I'm trying to find an area that isn't so red so that I can blot it out and bring it down a bit. Okay. I feel like I need to wet it a bit. Is it too much? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> mm. All right. All right, so to mellow this out, I'm going to put a little bit more foundation just to tone it down a bit. god guys i love it so much i really love how that looks oh god and you can see my skin shining through i have a light on here that's so bright let me tone it down a bit oh that was a little too bright i have this powder by nars now this is a light reflecting it's in the color sunstone which is very close to my skin tone I'll put that along my laugh lines and under my chin. So I want that to kind of like blend with my skin tone. Now I have the Benai Natural Set Colorless Powder. So I usually dust some of this in the top of the cap. 
Seriously guys, like what the heck is going on over here right now? So I pick it up with my brush, I dust off the excess. And that's all. I'm not putting any more powder over my face because I want to keep that glowy look. Now I'm going to go finish my makeup, guys, and I'll be back. Guys, I disappeared on you. <laughs> my makeup is done. I'm about to put on some setting spray. The same one I've been using. I ended up on a call. I was talking with my cousin a bit about my mom, stuff like that, and got distracted, but I was still doing my makeup. I ended up adding a little bit more color in my on my lower lash i decided to go with more blue and i also used a blue pencil that i've had for ages this one is by wet and wild so i just added that a little bit of it in my inner tear duct and i kind of like blended it out to the side as well i went with a bright lip because i'm going all bright today so i'm wearing my two sephora reds i think it's number two I don't remember what this color is, but they're the two. One is darker and one is more like an orangey hue. So I line my lips with the darker and then I go into the center to give it that more pouty look by applying the lighter, brighter color. Makeup's done. I have my Fendashi earrings, my mom ear cuff, and my butterfly from Zara's. So I'm gonna go get myself prepared trying to get this shoot done and be back home so that I can finally relax. Getting some lotion on the hands here. My nails are a mess guys. They need doing so bad. Like this one looks good compared to the other. This fingernail is completely messed. Like it's done. It broke everything. The color is off. But these three are, these four are hanging on for dear life. But this one actually broke too. So I cut the tip off. This broke deep in the bed, so I have to keep this band-aid on it so as not to have it hook into anything. I have to find a moment so I can use some acetone just to melt these off. I'm going to get my rings. I'm going with this big one here. Probably shouldn't use it on that finger, right? Oh well. There's another one. This one had an eye. It fell off somewhere. Add a little bling. I'm gonna mix metals here. Gold and silver. That's the bling for today. Okay. I'm in the kitchen because I haven't eaten really. I only had one banana, actually two bananas, and my protein shake after I worked out. So I, and my coffee. So I need to find something to eat. I'm actually gonna eat some leftovers, guys. I had food that Jay purchased yesterday on our way up to the city didn't eat that because and then we ended up having dinner at STK so I didn't actually get to eat my food. Hey fam, so New York Fashion Week was kind to me. That's all I can say. I managed to get to the city, take some photos, unfortunately. It was like <laughs> a mad dash when I got there. It was pretty late. Um, Jay and I, we got up there about like 5 p.m. and the sun was going down so some of the shots I'm not like crazy about because the looks were meant to be like day shots I love a good night shot like mind you the first look I think would have been a good night shot as well but the other two were meant to be in the day like when it's bright because the colors I was wearing are pretty vibrant so I'm gonna insert some of those for you so, so considering I didn't have any real plans for this weekend, it just turned out way better than I could have, could have expected and I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. 